What's up, y'all? It's your boy Flacco here at the Go Power Sports headquarters. We got a Tillerson 212 on the Little Rascal, and I'm gonna show y'all how it happened. So in a previous video, we showed you guys how to get the 80 stage one kit and made it with the Little Rascal. So in today's video, we're gonna turn it up a little bit. We got a Tillerson 212 here, and we're gonna pair it with a stage one kit and get it paired with one of our Little Rascals. Let's go. All right, so the tools I'll be using on this project, wire cutters or hose cutters, needle nose pliers, an eight millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter box open wrench, 10 millimeter wrench, eight millimeter wrench, flathead and Phillips screwdrivers, and a 13 millimeter socket, three quarter ratchet, and I like to use the impact when I can just to, you know, speed things up a little bit. I'm gonna start by disassembling a Tillerson 212, and I like to start with the air box. So let's go ahead and get our gas tank removed. So when installing it on the Little Rascal, remember you won't have room for a factory Tillerson or Predator gas tank. Now that we got everything disassembled from our Tillerson 212, let's talk about what's included in our Stage 1 kit. First, you'll see a bright yellow card taped to the outside of your air filter box. That's gonna be your carburetor jet. I like to go ahead and take that off the box along with the carburetor gaskets. Set them aside so they don't get thrown away. You got your air filter, your Go Power Sports air filter sock, choke lever bracket, your air filter adapter, your exhaust gasket, and hardware. Let's go ahead and start by removing our carburetor so that we can install our stage one high flow jet. Once your carb is removed, we're gonna go to the bottom of our factory stock carburetor and remove the center 10 millimeter bolt. When removing your high flow jet, it's a chance that your demotion tube could slide out with it, along with it. If so, you simply take your emulsion tube, the flat broad side facing upward, and simply drop it back down to the main flow. Now we're gonna take our stage one high flow fuel jet. And remember when installing it, you're gonna use a flathead screwdriver so your flathead slot is gonna be upward. Just drop it down into the card. And you don't wanna over tighten these because they are really, really easy to strip. They're made of brass. So I like to turn until it won't allow me anymore. Not too tight, but just nice and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and install our float bowl back onto our carburetor. Like so. Tight. Nice and snug. Go ahead and take a carburetor, 
slide it back on to my engine. Take your pivot arm, drop it back into your throttle mechanism along with the return spring to the smaller hole. Then you can go ahead and slide your car back. You can even put the fuel line back on the carb if you want at that point. It may actually be easier while the carb is still free. Got our pivot arm, our control arm, and our return spring back in our carburetor. Go ahead and just rest our adapter there. Next, you'll take your choke your choke lever bracket and your choke lever I'm going to place it back on the card Next, we're gonna go ahead and install our air filter. And you'll just simply slide it over the adapter. It may be easier if you do this with the fuel lever in the on position. So go ahead and slide it over. Just use the screwdriver to tighten. There we have it. You can go ahead and slide your sock over if you want. I think these look really good. Next, we're gonna give it a turn around and proceed on to install our header pipe. Now that we got our stage one kit completely installed on our Tillerson 212. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and install our Max Torque clutch for our 212. When installing this clutch on your little rascal, remember your clutch will need to be installed inboard, meaning your gear will face your engine, not vice versa. So we're gonna go ahead and slide it on inboard. Clutch key. It's gonna be included with your max torque clutch. Slide that guy in there. I don't use the set screws. I think it's better actually if your clutch has somewhat play. Um, it's just, it's, it seems to run safer and smoother that way. So we're gonna go ahead and Get our 10 millimeter clutch bolt started. I always remember to use lock washer when using your clutch, when installing clutch. And tighten it down. And here we have it. Complete stage one Tillerson 212. Go power sports style. So let's go ahead and proceed and get this bad boy installed on our little rascal. Y'all might remember this bad boy from our Little Rascal 80 build. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is remove the 80 and get it prepped and ready for some real power. Let's go ahead and get started. Got our proper bolts to mount our 212 onto our little rascal. Let's go ahead and slide her in. Get her in place. There we go. Go ahead and drop our 
engine mount hardware into our engine. We got our engine in and our engine mount hardware hand tight. I'm gonna go ahead and proceed by installing our chain. Just a chain tension by just setting our motor and go ahead and tighten this bad boy down. She's nice and tight. From there, let's go ahead and install our kill switch. Now that we got our kill switch installed, let's go around and install our throttle cable. Now that we got our Tillerson 212 mounted, we got our throttle cable connected, fuel lines ran. I'm gonna bring my guy Taylor in. He can talk to you guys about a couple of customization parts and different aspects that you guys may be interested in on your little rascal. Let's do it. I'm Taylor of Go Power Sports. Here on the table, we got laid out some of the options we have for these little rascal mini bikes. First off, uh, you can do these 530, 450 by 6 universal tread tire. These are great for on-road, off-road. They're a lot taller than the old options that we had for this bike, so you can get a little more ride height, a little more comfortability for an adult. We're going to slap on these fenders. We're going to use our rear fender bracket, which bolts right to the existing brace. And then we're going to weld this notch bracket onto the front over there on the forks. These are a really good fender. We have many different options of these online. These fit this tire just perfect. I think we're going to trim them down a little bit so they're not so long, but we're gonna mess around with that once we get them mounted. Tons of different seat options. We sell black and white, we sell black and black, and then we have the black and silver. We do have a lot of guys who kind of go off and do their own thing. They do pink, they do, you know, some sparkly colors. They've Tom. really been going crazy with these seats. Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> we got grips over here. Blue, red, black, white, gray, silver. We got tons of different options on the website. So on all the raffle bikes that we've done, you've probably seen them on the website, on our social media. You've seen we've been going crazy with chrome, with all sorts of different powder coat. We've got a lot of different seats that we've done on there. We did the universal suspension kit on a Rascal, which was really cool. That, that project turned out great. For this bike, you can do the 80, you can do the 212. The 80, you can do the torque converter or just do a clutch. The 212 is really good just with a clutch on this bike. So we've got the different tank location options as well. Most guys tend to put the tank up front, but a really cool look is to do a side exit pipe. And then we've got a tank bracket that goes right here that puts the tank kind of right behind the seat and above a rear fender if you were to put that on. So in the description of this video, we will have links to all these parts on our website. On the rear wheel, we have a lot of different sprocket combinations you can do. You know, we have the split sprockets that you can do in 420 or 35 chain. For that, you would use our GPS USA split sprocket adapter, which we already have mounted up on this bike. This is one of the one piece sprockets. But then, like I said, we have the two-piece where you can basically do any tooth count that you want. If you want tons of low-end torque, go with a big old sprocket like this one. 
If you want more speed, we got stuff that's barely bigger than this adapter. Mm -hmm. It's like a 53 tooth, uh, 35 chain sprocket. You can get pretty good top end speed with that one. We're gonna start with getting these tires on and then we're gonna mount up the fenders and this thing's gonna look pretty sick at the end. That pretty much sums it up. You can see it doesn't take much to give you almost a completely different bike. You just start with your wheels and tires. That's going to give you a different ride, a different ride height. You can get a little bit more funky. Like I said, we got the different seat options. These look good, man. Yeah. They can almost give it kind of a slammed look yeah. compared to the, the shorter ones. Yeah. Rear fender bracket, rear fender. You saw how easy it was to mount that stuff. The front fender bracket, as long as you can weld, Weld that in, drill some holes in the fender. Man, it's a completely different looking bike than at the beginning of the day. It is a completely different bike. Looks killer, man. Yep. Thank you all for watching. In this video, Flacco took the 80 off, put on the 212. We got a lot more power going this, through this thing. It's gonna be a lot smoother with more rollout with the height of our tires. Please let us know what you think. Let us know what you think of the fenders, the front fender bracket. This was kind of the test bike for that bracket. So please like, comment, subscribe, and always send us your pictures. I'll let it go.